Hello, everyone, and welcome to Open Bomb for NetSuite. This is the April 2019 product tour. I'd like to start off with demonstrating our import from SolidWorks into uh, through Open Bomb into NetSuite. So let's get started. Here's an image of a product I have designed in SolidWorks. It's a braking system with some various levels of complexity, and we're going to We've taken this and, and used our SOLIDWORKS integration to create a open bomb bill material for that. We've added some other information about who our vendor is and maybe the machine centers and some other information about that. So let's follow this now through the process of bringing this to our NetSuite, uh, bringing this to NetSuite for our company. So here we go. Let's start with the bill material page in NetSuite. We're going to import an advanced bill materials for this particular bomb. Create a new bill material. We're gonna call this our F1 break system. I'm bringing in a new uh, bill material at this time. So we're gonna save this into our, save this into NetSuite and create a new revision, which is part of the advanced bill material functionality in NetSuite. So let's create a new revision. The part number for that is FMB-200. And that's from, I know that from uh, my uh, open bomb part number. FMB-200, now let's uh, click on our engineering tab and the integration quickly goes out and picks up that bill material. So I'm looking at the bill material right now in open bomb. Let's go ahead and set up a few things. <clears throat> we want this to come in with some properties properly aligned. So our part number in, uh, in NetSuite is called our NetSuite field. And we'd like that to be what we have as part number in OpenBob. I've also gone through and set up a few other things to bring in proper descriptions and some images. And we'll see kind of how those, uh, how those display in just a moment. So I set that up, and I only need to do that once. And then I update my NetSuite manufacturing bomb. So Open Bomb is uh, picking up all this information and sending it to NetSuite and creating an advanced manufacturing bomb for this particular part number. We're picking up all the uh, metadata as well as the images from Open Bomb and building that. So here we go. Here's a message. We've got 16 items were added. That's great. Let's take a look at what those components are. Here they are. So let's take a look at something. Let's drill down a little bit and just take a look at one, at one of these. I don't know. Let's look at the spring. There's information about this about the spring and I can show you that on this particular custom tab I've placed the uh, the alternate image. So we can see that we bring, Im bring images in. And we, we've done that for all these others as well. So I do know that for my first release, I do need an effectivity date. So I'm gonna go ahead and put an effective date in there. And this is going to be, I'm just gonna call this the Rev A. So let's save this into, be great, save that new NetSuite. And we can see that we have an F1 break system here. We have a Rev A. So that's great. So let's let's uh, let's make a quick change to to this over here, and let's change the um, let's change the part number for this guy. One thirty three. All right. Maybe and maybe our workflow is that we create a new revision for that. So we're going to call this the Rev B. Rev B. That's where we're going to get that. So let's go get that Rev B. There we go. We see I've got the new part number right there. And let's up, go ahead and update this in NetSuite. Now we're, you know, we're going through again. We're looking at that bill of material for any changes that might exist. We're doing the same thing that we did before. We're capturing any changes and we're creating that manufacturing uh, Rev B in NetSuite. 
This one will also notice since this is a future revision, we'll see that we need to add a, both a start, and I'm going to make that after the last one, and a end effectivity. We can go look at the components if I I think that guy was right here. Here we go. So our last one, we see that we've changed that part number is now 133. So we're good to go. Let's save that in NetSuite as our, with our new effectivity. Take a look at our bill of materials and we'll see that our F1 brake system now has two revisions, Rev A and Rev B. So what we did was we, uh, we picked up a SOLIDWORKS assembly. We used the integration to bring that into OpenBOM, added some additional metadata and information that uh, would be interesting to our NetSuite manufacturing system. We used the uh, OpenBOM for NetSuite integration to create an advanced bill of materials. We brought in the initial Rev A. Uh, we created a change to a part number, updated it, and created the Rev B. So I hope you found that interesting. You can find more information at openbomb.com.